welcome back Joel here today I'm gonna to be making some cherry and cheese danishes delicious super easy don't have to slave yourself in the kitchen let's get to it All right, first I'm gonna I'm gonna start making the filling the cream cheese filling so I'm gonna go ahead by just smoothing the cream cheese I'm gonna go ahead and cream it with my bowl the, the cream cheese is at room temperature it's always easier to work with Go ahead and add the sh uh, have a a quarter cup of uh, granulated sugar. And then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oops. A teaspoon and then some. All right, that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just set it aside until I need it. And so now we're gonna go ahead and roll the dough, the pastry dough. So here I'm using my the pastry puff pastry. They actually really, I actually love this product. It's pretty good. And I'm gonna use both sheets. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lay this one here. Roll this one. And I wanna get nine squares out of this, so I'm gonna roll it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some flour. Flour it. Probably about 13 inches. And I know the, um, how wide it is because I have my little pastry um, mat here that it gives me the numbers and it's actually really nice and handy. So I'm going to do two different kinds. So the first batch that I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to do uh, nine um, squares, and then I'm going to make like little stars. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of just eyeball it. Well, first let me cut the edges, kind of clean them up, make it nice and straight. So here I might have cheap pan ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start forming the little stars. So what I, I have the squares, and what I'm doing is I go right here, right on the corners, and I cut about an inch and a half in, leaving about, without getting all the way to the center. So I kind of went like that, then cut it here, over here, and then over here, and then I simply just grab one corner and bring it in. Just pinch it. Then grab the next one, bring it in, the center, and pinch. And do it again, make sure I go away. I'm getting all confused here. So, this one, this one, there you go. <laughs> pinch it in, oops. And pinch it. And then you have this, carefully grab it, because I have to put on the big 
can cheat, then you have this little star right here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start placing them as I go. So let me show you one more time. Okay. So I go here. You don't have to do this. This is just because I think it just looks really look nice. And um, but you can just do square, just like that. Put your filling. You can kind of roll in the middle. You don't have to roll in the middle. Um, it's really up to you. Okay, so now you can even bring it in, pinch it. So I got the stars all shaped. So I'm doing two baking sheets because I have six here and nine here and I needed to make sure they have enough room, at least an inch, two inches um, apart. I'm gonna go ahead and egg wash them before I put the cream cheese. Get them all nice and covered to give them that beautiful golden color. and I'm gonna put about a teaspoon right in the center. Just like so, just a little dollop. But this is gonna spread, so make sure you don't put too much because it's gonna be all over. And you can sprinkle some sugar, like, um, like actual, it's called sprinkle sugar. It's like raw sugar, but it's um, white. Um, but you can certainly do that. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to glaze it with apricot um, glaze when they come out of the oven to give them beautiful shine color and awesome flavor to the dough pastry. All right, so now, I'm gonna put this in the oven at 375 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes or until golden brown. Just keep an eye on it. And then while they're in the oven, I'll go ahead and get the other one started. Here's the other sheet now. I'm going to, this one's gonna be slightly different. Actually, a lot different. I'm going to, I'm gonna try this all flowered. Okay, so this one, we, I'm actually gonna cut stripes, then we're gonna swirl it, make like a little rope, and then make like a little nest. Okay. And those, I'm gonna put cherries on them. Cheese and cherries, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Go ahead and get it stretched. Go ahead and cut the edges to make it clean. You don't have to do this either, but I just think it just looks presentation, 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 presentation. Okay. All right. So now I want to get six out of this. So let's see. Can I get six? and a half in. There we go, perfect, oops. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there real quick and I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some sugar on top. Because I want it to be really sweet, the dough, since I'm gonna roll it up. That's probably about two tablespoons. Okay. 
just slightly with my roller and I'll even press them down just so that way the sugar kind of stays on it. Just like that. Perfect. Now, I'm going to grab a strip and then I'm going to just twist it. Just twist it. Don't just naturally, just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to just form a little nest, just like so. And then I'm going to tuck this in like this and press it right there. Okay, and I'm going to have this little nest right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and get it all done. Right, so I got him all nice and nice little nest. Then I'm going to go ahead and add wash them. Get them all nice cover. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put a dollop of cream cheese right in the center. Just like so. And then with my finger, with my thumb, which I didn't show you, but I actually pressed it down. So that way there's like a little nest right in the center. Because I'm gonna put at least about three cherries. And I'm using just um, pie filling cherries. Um, they actually, you know, they work. And you can put just fresh fruits. And I'm using a half, I'm using a cup from one of the cans, which I think the cans are like 16 ounces. But for this, I'm only using half of it. Okay. okay. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just put this. The spoon, I press it down and then just, just like so. Again, 375, 10 to 12 minutes. Keep an eye on the color. And they'll be done. Okay, they've been resting, they've been glazed, baked, they're ready to eat, and I can't wait. I'm gonna have this cherry one right here. Look how beautiful. See that? All right. Mm -hmm. All right, cheese, the cherry, the pastry, the glaze. But you know what's more important than all of this? That they're delicious and so easy. You don't have to kill yourself in the kitchen. There are some, sometimes it's okay to do some shortcuts and get some good stuff. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and please subscribe. Check out my other videos. But most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little goodness.